I want to ask, at what particular time of the day is, is the best time to make a cow, whether in the evening or in, probably in, early in the morning, when is the best time to make a The best time is early in the morning and late in the evening. Due to the challenges we have these days, the mechanized agriculture, I saw the moving process. Is there no mechanized form of doing that because it was very, very slow? Yeah, it's very slow, but we, we, have adopted, we, we have not taken the excessive system of livestock management. That is the personal management system. They have to do it by because they're always on the move. They're always on the move. You don't expect them to have the milking machine here because they cannot starve it. They have to use hand in milking. But when we come with semi intensive intensive, that's where we will, we will have the, the, the mechanized milking system. Yeah. So my question is, is, is this: uh, Do you have a special breed that uh, produces the best milk for the cow? Uh, the, 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 it's that what I'm saying. It's good about selection. We can select within the breed. Even within the breed, you can select the one that can give you up to 10 liters. Even within the indigenous Sokoto Godali, if you select very well for milk yield, although it has very low heritable coefficient, but it can be able to select and it can give up to 10 liters. But if we really want to increase, we can crossbreed. We crossbreed with exotic, the, the European type, so that we will have the increase in milk yield. We, that we do that what we are doing in Socrates because we have the artificial insemination program where we, we have the semen from, from, from abroad. Uh, we are, we are crossbreeding with Sokoto Budali. I will give you the, the pamphlet of that what we are doing. Uh, is there anybody else? Yeah. Sir, my name is Charles Nathaniel Ibako. Before coming here, I read that there are different breeds of cattle. That there are the ones that are there for meat, there are the ones for milk. For those of us that have not been having such opportunity before, how do we know the ones that are for meat, the ones that are for milk? Thank you, sir. Yeah, um, it, it, it's a very good question I'm making. But for me, for, for, you know, it's Sokoto Gudali is it's mainly a dual purpose breed. You have triple purpose breed. It's for milk, it's for meat, as well as drug power. The ones they are used in flour, it's very short and very docile, they can be able to, to handle it very well. If, uh, the the Bunaji, that is the white plani, they are also dual purpose breed, for milk uh, and, as well as, as beef. If you go for Buzu, they are also dual purpose breed. That's for beef, mele, Buzu, that one they call Azawa. And red bororo, this are meat type. Okay. You know. Thank you, sir. So my name is Bishop Ubede Ekwa. So when do you milk the cow? Is it when it, must it be pregnant so it's milked, or you can milk the cow around, all around the year? Thank you. Yeah, but in, in, in milking calf, you know, in, in milking lactation, I want to call lactation calf. Oh. The lactation calf we have to sell like this. Gradually, when it reaches the peak, then it has to come down until when it is dried. When, then, that, that is this we call mil milk calf. Initially, it will continue to be dwelling at the beginning. Later on, it, it will continue to be raising. When it reaches up, then it will come down. That will be called milk, milk, milk calf. Then that's, that will be a period of dryness. So that's why a, a, a dairy farmer must be able to ensure that his cow must conceive and give birth every year. So if you know that we call uh, that what I mean by uh, reproductive performance. The cow should be able to produce a calf every year for a milker. Gestation period is nine months. So what an animal is about 180 days. What an animal is pregnant now is after 180 days you continue to be milking. Then look towards the end the milk will dry up. Towards the end of the day, after drying up, then then the, the, the cow will now calve. After calving, made about, about 50 to 60 days, it's time after uterine involution has taken place, then you can rebreed again. So the cow, the cow must always continue to be pregnant all year round. But there should be a period of dryness that is within about two to three months before rebreeding. That's the time you have to plush. You plush before breeding. You steam up before, before calving. Plush is additional food must be given to the cow before, before, before breeding and you maintain that after two months the letter up from three to, to seven months then you, you can keep it under maternity towards the end of the pregnancy towards the end towards last two to three months towards that last two to three weeks before calibin then you have to increase the nutrition
ladies and gentlemen, I believe you have seen how the process of milking cow, uh, and now you are to see, we are taking you to the next process of uh, separating cheese from milk. Uh, the first thing is, you, when you milk a cow, you leave it in calabash so that it will stay overnight. The first thing the Pulali woman do in the morning is to separate cheese because uh, by the time it stay overnight, then the cheese will come up while the real milk, which we call nono, will be at the bottom. There are some instruments that are used in this. I will tell you their name. Like this one you see, this is called Gendama. This Gendama is used when you take off the cheese from the overnight milk, you put it here and you start shaking it. You add some water, you shake it and uh, the oil will come down while the water will come up and you pour down the water and then you have your, uh, you have your cheese. But before you do that, let us look at the overnight milk. You have seen how the milk was when it was when it was taken from the uh, from the from the cow. Okay, so you can see you can see the cheese is on top while the milk is down. So I will call one of our girls to remove the cheese. Uh, the other secretary, Kidebe Mona, Kidebe Abanga, Kidebe Mai. So now carefully look how the girl do it. Hmm. They have started removing the cheese here. You see how it is. So when she completely remove the cheese from the top, she will be left with what we call nono, ready for drinking or for pura making. I will show you all that uh, one by one. Oh, uh. So you see this is how the cheese is removed from the overnight milk. So yeah, So you can see this is the cheese. The cheese has been removed. What remains here is the milk. Say abul kakigo. Tao. This is how the fresh milk is. That is that one. That this one has been milked just now. The one that is uh, still overnight is this. Mm. So you can see the differences. Uh -huh. So now you see. You see, this is the cheese. This one, you see, they will just remove, the, uh, you know, in the process, the water is added and uh, the little, uh, the little no-no, custom as the plan you call it, uh, it will be removed. This one you see here is the cheese. So, it is easy, you just remove this. And you are left with cheese. This cheese, you can take it you can take it with any type of food like rice like anything you can take it you can also uh you can also uh, take uh use you can uh, you can also boil it so that it will become oily just like any oil like granite oil like uh, palm oil so when you boil it it becomes oil. It is used to be added as a uh, in the uh, in the soup, so that the soup will smell good and it will taste very nicely. So this is the simple process of making cheese out of milk. This one, the the the, uh, the remaining milk, overnight milk, will be is normally used to drink it like that and it is very nutritional. Uh, it can also be used for making of pura. 
and uh, you would like to see pura. This is a pura that is, that uh, that this milk is used to. Hey. Hey. The, uh, the pula you call it chudal. Chutal. Chutal. This is a very sweet pura. If you drink it now, uh, within a short time you will feel your body relax, <laughs> and you will like sleep all to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think uh, many Pulani and the Hausa cannot live without this Pura. <laughs> this is a very very important meal in, in the north. So that is why a cow milk is so important that there is no family house you don't find Pura. And this Pura cannot be Pura unless you use this milk to mix it. So I hope you you, uh, you understand the the, the the connection between pura and nono. Pura is no pura unless it is mixed up with nono. And this is how nono is made. Yes. So unless you have any other question. Uh, My name is Elizabeth Matthew. I just want to ask, uh, what is added to this milk to make fura? Because I can see the color is different from the normal milk I'm seeing here. So what is added to okay. make the fura? Thank you very much for this question. The process of making fura is entirely uh, another, another topic. But uh, basically, fura comes from either millet or guinea corn. In order to make pura, you need to have millet, which you will crush. After crushing it, then you boil. You boil it. After boiling it, then you use motor to pound it, just like you pound pounded yam. After which, you have what is called dough. That dough, you take this. Uh, overnight milk and add it and mix with water to have what you have here as pura. So basically pura comes from dao and dao comes from millet. This particular one is from millet. There is another one they make from guinea corn. So the, the color differs. This one you are looking at comes from millet, gero. We call it gero. So that is it. Good morning, my name is Woko Eric. Um, I wanted to ask, what part of the milk is used to make yogurt? Okay. Milk, uh, yogurt is made from fresh milk. Uh, the process is entirely different. Eh? My name is Usman Olawale Ismail. Mm -hmm. So in your explanation, you mm -hmm. said cheese can be used as, as vegetable cream. Mm -hmm. so I want to ask, can it be, uh, can the cheese serve as a substitute for salad cream in salad making? Yes, it can serve, but it depends on, uh, uh, it depends on the person who is used to it. Maybe somebody who has never tested it may not find it. Uh, but as for the Pulani people, that is their own best. Uh, <laughs> that is their own best uh, success. Thank you very much. Yeah, well. So those of you who want to test it can test it.